Alright, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Basically, with this video, I did a video earlier uh, in the week or last week of Bugs Island doing a breakdown for preseason. And what I want to do is show you a couple other tools that I like to use when I am prepping for a fishing tournament or just going fun fishing or basically just trying to figure out how to catch more bass. And basically, that tool is Google Earth. At, I mean, no secret. Um, but for those of you guys that don't have Google Earth Pro, that's what you're really going to need. The Google Earth Pro is going to allow you to get the history photos. So you'll be able to get photos of different times. So you'll be able to find pictures of when water level is low, etc., different times of the year. And the, what, this really works good on lakes like this because, again, this is a flood control lake. And so that water really fluctuates. And a lot of people think fishing traveling the country doing all that is you know fun always outside fishing it's a lot of times i've spent a lot of hours as you can see all these waypoints i mean this isn't like 20 minutes worth of work i'll tell you that much so i've spent tons of hours out uh, sitting in front of my computer and basically as you can see i got potomac i got lake norman i got kentucky lake from the toyota series championship i got Lake Hartwell, basically from the Toyota Series Championship and the BFL All-American. And as you can see, if this thing ever zooms in, when you're zoomed out, it gets real laggy and slow. Um, like I have, look, you see right here, I got Atifo. He fished there one day, one time in the Classic, he fished back in that area. I didn't go all the way back in there. But as you can see, I got waypoints all over the place. I mean, stumps, rocks, blah, 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 blah. And... The good thing about this is it saves you time. I mean, you can basically, you don't, if you're not knowing where you're running around the lake, like I could run down to this area of the lake right here. And I know if I pull in here, I'm going to have plenty of stuff to fish. So that's going to be efficient. I'm not going to be pulling into an area like I'm not going to come hit this stretch here because there's nothing here that I have marked. But I know if I come back along this stretch, I got rock piles and I know I'm covering probably pretty good productive high percentage areas. Like if you were to come and look at the Lake Norman, let's see, for example, Lake Norman. God, hurry. I hate this thing. It gets laggy when you start zooming out. So come up here to Lake Norman. And basically a big player that time when we came up here was dredge docks, but also the topwater bite was on. The dredge dock was a good area to just pick up some extra keepers if you needed a limit filler. And I had already pre, you know, marked all these. Like, and, and the thing is you can transfer all this over to your Lowrance unit Whatever you, you have, you can basically come up here on the left right here and scroll up. As you can see, I got Bugs Island open, but I got all these places. I got hundreds of waypoints, and you'll just come up here, and you can just right-click up here, my places or whatever, and you know open a folder, do a folder, type in whatever lake it is, and you can start saving your waypoints there. But again, back at Lake Norman, so I basically already had all these dredge docks pre-marked and everything, so... When I started catching them on a dredge dock, I didn't have to go run around the lake looking at all di all these different docks. I was able to just basically look at my unit and be like, oh, I got dredge docks all over here. I can pull in here, and I, I know I got one, two, three, four, five to hit, and then there might even be more in there. But again, let me show you what I'm talking about with the zooming in and out and the different history photos because you can start to see, especially on Lake Norman, these docks, they've been dredged out. So you see where that off color is. You got the bright color where there's the bottom, and then it's been dredged out, and these fish will get up under there. Same with over here. There's one there. There's one. You know, So there's just little spots, and you can find even longer ones that you're like, oh, my God, like, see right there? You see that whole trench there. And these fish will get up under these dredge docks and they'll sit in these little troughs where they're dredged out. So I was able to just cover water and be efficient. I mean, the more time I put in here, for every hour I put in here, it saves me probably five hours out there running around looking for this stuff. So it's just a great tool that I like to use. I'll set it up and mark it along with my Navionics because I'll mark stuff like I got. I mean, you can see. I got all to all types of stuff, and you'll like 
I'm, I'll go to the Navionics chart viewer, you know, and look at where it is can, in correlation to a channel, a point, the contours around there. So I'm like, oh, this is good. It's going to be next to deep water or it's next to a channel. It's just in an all around good area. And the last video I did for this before I just started filming this one was the fact that basically my audio wasn't turned on. So I had this is like my third go through trying to do this. But I was showing you guys how to how I go about, you know, working around this lake. And I just seriously, I'll zoom in and just go all the way around the lake. So as you can tell, every time you stop, like here's a rock, you could just what you'll do is click on your little pin up here it'll pop up on the screen put it right on top and then just type in rock and basically hit enter I have it right here in Lake Cumberland just because I had it set it up but I'll drop it right there in my Bugs Island open up the Bugs Island and you continue just to go around and like you see here not everything you mark is going to be great you know like I marked a stump here you can see there's a stump out here as well so I can mark that too, but I like to emphasize certain things. If something looks really good, I'm going to emphasize on there because when you get out on the water and you have, after you've downloaded all these waypoints into your Lawrence unit or whatever unit you may be using, it can become overwhelming and you're not going to fish everything. You're going to, but you're going to start getting an idea. You're going to be like, all right, I'm not catching them on rock. Let me go try to find, let me do some wood and say, instead of being like, I got to ride around this lake and look for some wood. You just go to your thing and you got all your laydowns there, etc. So, like I said, the amount of time you put in here is going to save you tenfold out there on the water. And so just click and add stumps. So now I know if I want to come out here and fish, and I just happen to be in this area, I don't have a lot of waypoints in this area, so I probably won't come over here as much just because there's not a lot of underwater structure for me to fish. But, like, if I was to come fish this stretch there's just a lot there or if i wanted to come back in this creek i know there's some rocks here some rocky point stuff there so you eventually know you get to the point where you can pull into a pocket and you know everything that's there you know come over here if i pull in here i know basically i got all these waypoints so i know it's an area worth going to fish i'm not going to be wasting a lot of time in between high percentage areas so Again, you got the history view and everything up here in the top left. You get all your different photos. But again, this is just a tool I like to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, like the video. Stay tuned. I hope you use this tool to catch more fish. It help, it's helped me catch more fish. And I'll talk to you guys soon.